Here's my tutorial video on how to play the song Crazy Times by Jars of Clay. Um, it's as if I haven't made enough videos about these guys already, right? Um, uh, this is, um, first thing I found out was needing to put a capo on the second fret because, um, this is the, it's, it's correct, but it's not record correct. It's not recording correct. So, so when I figured this out, I was like, oh, okay. So, so let's do the intro real quick. Um, so our first chord, D major 7, to a B minor 7. Then D major seven, B minor seven, D major seven, B major, B minor seven to C sharp seven suspended. And I reach up with my ring finger to mute the low E. Um, uh, that, and then we go into a verse. Um, so. around from the D major 7 to the B minor 7 um, so it's I'm reaching up when, when I'm done with the D major 7 chord and when I go I just reach up on the low E to mute it and I reach back down to get back to my, my uh, D note there um, the new chords we're learning are A G in the bass, G sharp in the bass, and I'm playing a second chord technically, that making it a second, or you could go, or you could just go, or even, no, you'd have to go, you know, and let your bass player do the that if you're in a band um so um then we're moving on to a chorus uh, f sharp here we go sharp and the capo is on the second two so that's why it's what it is you know whichever way you finger to the D to the A to the E with G in the ba G sharp in the bass F sharp minor to another D to an A a B minor to another F sharp to a run it takes more than your sailing eyes A to make things right
we're doing everything we did in the first chorus. And we're, in verse 2, we're doing all the chords that we did in verse 1, too. So your first first verse and first chorus and second verse and second chorus chord progression is the same. So I won't go over the same thing twice. Um, you can just rewind the video to cover that if you need to again. Um, then we're going to what I guess is the bridge, uh, starting out with a D7. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, for the solo. On the bridge, anyway, going back to the bridge, D7. You're adding in this to get the seventh. To an F sharp minor. To an E with F sharp in the bass. Okay, so if it's capo two, your E is here. And I'm just taking a finger off. Putting instead of I'm, I'm making it an F sharp note too, so so same, just an octave higher. Then I'm going so all together it's and I'm muting the A string with my ring finger. So. come up real quick like a like a heartbeat put them but um and then it's just a C another C sharp seventh suspended on the sit here crying yeah um, then we're going into what the I'm gonna give you the chords for what you can play behind the guitar solo it's the verse verse chorus it's the verse it's the chorus progression rather it's the I haven't worked out how to play this at all. Um, on for this, there's a there's a, another video of me with the electric guitar playing the solo just by itself, just that solo. You can watch um, there. Um, so, but yeah, there's that. And then we're there's the interlude that kind of happens after that guitar solo where we're going back to the. Beside your bed, you feel left for dead, you kneel in the dark. Now we're just kind of hammering through the chords again. 
There's some kind of, it almost sounds like a mandolin. Um, here's your major seven. Now, just my pinky's going on the B string. string first fret, G string second, E string second. Or even, you can even include that low C sharp note. Um, so yeah, there's a way to sort of fake that mandolin solo that's going on or whatever in the background while the rhythm acoustic is finishing up playing that uh, D major 7, B minor 7, so on and so forth progression again. And there you go guys, keep learning.